<laughs> Content killer in the building, baby. What up, though? www.dameware.com. Grab your content killer shirt up something proper. Dig, baby, over here at Panera Bread, from what I hear, they done stepped their breakfast game all the way up, and they're taking this egg and Cinnabon thing to the next level. All right, fam, so Panera Bread is really trying to take the game to the next level. I slid over here, and all I'm seeing are a whole bunch of limited time only new items for breakfast, for lunch. I'm like, all right, and I was ready to go ahead and put my order in. They changed a lot since I last been here. Now, they have the touch screen where you can go ahead, just like McDonald's, put your own order in. So I definitely wanted to make sure that I created this Cinnabon breakfast that they have going on. But then I also started seeing other things, and I'm like, I'm not eating all that today because I still got a film with G Money today. Actually, she's on her way out here now. She was supposed to do this review with me, but I was thinking a little bit crazy. I'm like, well, I want to have G do something basic. I want to have her create a monstrosity. A monstrosity forces you to use the ghetto naps. <laughs> the ghetto nap. Come on, baby. You thought I forgot ah, the ghetto nap. Oh, rocking to the beat. Bill, 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 Bill. The ghetto nap. <laughs> The ghetto nap. Panera bread action. The ghetto nap. Oh, rock it to the beat. Bill, 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 Bill. Hit me off. All right, so now that we extra crispy, ba boop, boop. Let's see what Panera bread's Cinnabon breakfast egg sausage is hitting on. And I'm not getting too much in the scent department, y'all. And I got two different sandwiches here. I have high hopes. I really do, I have high hopes. First one we pull out is the first one we review. Nice little wrapping going on. All right. Got that little uh, paper wrapping. It says egg sandwich on this bad boy right here for a little sticker. The same way that pizza boxes get stuck on the way out. I like that for a little extra security. All right, fam. So, uh, I honestly don't know what to expect, but this is what I'm gonna show you. I wanna know your thoughts. We're looking at a Cinnabon with that cinnamon action. So basically everything about a cinnamon roll without the icing. And then let's go ahead and uh, drop the top and expose the guts. Ah, looks like sausage in their folded egg, the same folded egg that I have disrespected for years, but at the end of the day, how you feeling about the cinema? You think this is going to be bumping a little something or you're not going to mess with it? Hit me in the comment section below, fam. Just off looks alone, are we going to love it or are we going to not like it at all and throw it away in their trash? Go ahead. I'm going to give you some time to go ahead and break this one off. Do, 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 do. So did y'all have an answer? I gave y'all time pretty much to put an answer in the comment section. We're gonna love it, we're gonna hate it, let's find out. Pinky up for what we hope to be extra hood bougie flavor. Hmm, getting stuck in the tooth. Um, fam, <clears throat> oh. <sighs> what are you to, what are you? Let's talk about a family. For this cinnamon, this Cinnabon flex that we actually have going on, I can't say that I love it. I like it, but I can't say that I love it. And here's where I could break this thing down. Now, as far as our cinnamon roll itself, it's decent to touch, not extremely soft, kind of kind of starting to harden a little bit, but it is sweet and it does have nice flakiness to it. And I, I wanna say with the sausage alone, it would, it would be decent. The addition of the folded egg, it has this real artificial taste, this artificial aftertaste about it 
like the the underbutt stank of the world. Just when you just take back of the air stank and just wipe it on something. That's what you get as far as the the overall flavor. Just ow. I, I can't get with this one. Again, the sausage is good. The cinnamon roll is good. The folded egg is bad. So I gotta go ahead and give this joint a two and a half, family. I do not love it. It's both sweet and stank at the same. It's like a sweetie stank. A swank. It's a swank. Sweet stank. That's what it is. At Panera Bread. For the new cinnamon breakfast sandwich, it's swank, baby. Two and a half. Swank. But that's not all I got. The worst come to worst, take everything off, fam, and then eat the cinnamon roll by itself. But I'm not, I'm not loving it. How about this other sandwich? Another breakfast sandwich here at Panera Bread. Oh, I gotta get that out of my mouth a little bit. That's just bad. Okay. All right, yeah, that's... Oh, man. All right, hopefully this is better, Panera Bread. Oh, because that first one was mad bad. That one. All right, looks like the same thing on ciabatta bread, but this one actually visually, and you got a, you got a good smell about you too, so you, you fresh ciabatta bread, huh? All right, fam, how we feel about the ciabatta, ciabatta bread joint? Again, ciabatta bread with the folded egg, bacon, and cheese. I mean, how bad can it be? Family, that bacon, egg, and cheese on ciabatta was the worst variation of breakfast slop. Matter of fact, I would have ate pig slop over what I just put in my mouth. I have the foulest aftertaste roaming around in my mouth right now. Like the aftertaste got feet and it's just walking around farting in my mouth continuously. I am getting breath kick back into my own nostrils up off the bacon, egg, and cheese ciabatta. Now the ciabatta bread, I bit into it. It was soft. And the moment I got past the dough itself and into the ingredients of that nasty folded egg, that microwave bacon, that grease on top of grease from the microwave bacon, and then of course from the chick. Mama said, if I ain't got nothing good to say, don't say nothing at all. I'm sorry, mama. This was trash. This right here was the epitome of everything that is wrong with the planet. If you ever wonder what waste tastes like, not just like, if you ever wonder what waste, like if you go to a dump and you just see waste all over the place and just, just go ahead and take a big bite out of it. And you're gonna get the same thing that I got here at Panera Bread. Panera Bread has good items. This is none of those at all. How you, how you new and taste old at the same time? And not like old items on the menu, just taste old. You, you taste as if you were thrown together and you weren't approved. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all just had extra product and ingredients in the back and you taste like a Panera Bread science experiment made by an 11 year old that doesn't know how to cook. Just walked in because moms had nowhere to put them for the summer and didn't want to put him in camp. And he was running around in the back. She was like, sit your little behind down. And he was like, mama, I'm bored, mama, I'm bored. And she was like, look, go take, 
those ingredients and products over there and make something. Just go ahead, do something, Charlie. And so Charlie went ahead and he, he went and threw some stuff together. Mm. Ugh. Little doo-doo sandwiches. This was the worst thing that Charlie could have created. I'm sorry. I'm, this is bad, y'all. I'm glad G isn't here right now. She'll be here in another 20 minutes. I'm glad she's not here right now to do this with me. You know what I'm saying? G, I took one for the team. This video is going to be... You're going to see me in the same outfit for the next video. But it's going to be me and G in the next video. We're going to go with the Red Robin. This, I'm, she, she's going to be so happy. She's not going to be happy about what I'm going to have her create a Red Robin, though. Because she's coming straight from the gym. I mean, she went home to take a shower and everything. She ain't, she ain't coming over here funky. Because she know I'm going to just start cracking jokes. You, just, you ain't just be up in my truck with wild body odor. You know what I'm saying? And think, I ain't going to smell you. You know what I mean? Like... Oh, what you, girl, what you do? You trying to put, put, did you take Panera Bread and just started rubbing it over your body? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, but, <clears throat> oh, I got to throw up and cough and die at the same time. Panera Bread, what is this trash? The PB, yo. Somebody need to apologize to me. This right here is so bad, somebody need to apologize. And that not even the employees that work here. Somebody need to apologize from HQ, from the headquarters. No, no. Somebody need to apologize in the test kitchen because that's where this started, in the test kitchen. For whoever's idea it was to throw this together right here, this old greasy, rubbery, tasteless, booty stink, waste management, on ciabatta bread, just ragamuffin, butt doodoo, Whoever decided to go ahead and throw neglect together. Because if you ever wonder what neglect tastes like, it's right here. It's right here. I promise you if, you, if you were curious about neglect and what is the flavor of neglect, I got it in my hand from Panera Bread. It's on my face. All right, fam. I, I, gotta, I don't even know how to close out this video. <sighs> Oh, my God.